So we have the Xbox Series S controller. I've been using this console for like less than 10 hours at this point. I got it less than 10 hours ago, so it has to be less than 10 hours. But I really like this controller. It's a lot of refinements from the Xbox One controller, but it does have one really unique feature with this controller. The coolest feature that no one has talked about, as far as I know, no one has shown how to do this, is the ability to pair to multiple devices at once. This is the quick resume feature of the controller. So there are limitations to this. Um, you can only pair it to one Xbox and one Bluetooth device. Now I think if you have the Xbox wireless adapter, that counts as an Xbox device. So you can pair it to two PCs if you want. You can probably pair it to the same PC if you want, if you want to switch between Bluetooth and the adapter. I don't know, you can do that, I guess. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna hold this button. There we go, okay. So you're gonna to wanna to hold that and then the controller is gonna to start to blink. So, controller is gonna to start to blink and it found my phone right now. You're gonna hit the pair button on your Xbox console if it hasn't been paired up with your Xbox. And then you're gonna repeat the process of holding this button, going into the settings of your phone, tablet, or computer, add the device and add this device over here. And then it should be there. It should be connected. Once you do that, you now have it connected to the Xbox. You now have it connected to the phone. To change from phone to Xbox, all you have to do is double tap. So we're going to double tap right now on the pair button. Here the Xbox Series S turn on. Boom. There. We're in the game. We're ready to play. Back to the Android device. We're on the Game Pass app right here. I am pairing it. And we're here. So you can see I'm controlling the phone. Going down, going left, going right, going up. And if I want to go back to the Xbox, it's just another double tap. And boom. We're back here. So on a final note, if you just want to connect to the Xbox, you will hold the Xbox button like usual, like you would do on any other Xbox One controller. And if you want to pair to your Android device or your other Bluetooth device, then you're going to hold the pair button instead of holding the home button because the home button is only for the Xbox and the pairing button is for Android and also pairing other devices if you want to change it. So 